Hello, and welcome to ARK, the complete series. Well, as you can see, I did go back to Scorched Earth, and I picked up some wyverns and had them transferred over here, so I've got two zombie wyverns that I picked up during one of the events. But I've had Spit for quite a while, I got him early on, uh, when I was first trying to get uh, wyverns from that map. So I brought those over because I want to have a bit of fun. In fact, I can actually see some some of the actual uh, loot drops have come down, so I think I'll have a bit of a peek and see what's in those but the plan really is I want to actually explore the water I mean we've got these rather shallow sort of like rivers lakes if you will around the map but there's a just behind where we're at it's a much deeper area now I had a quick peek at that area when I first came here but I, I want to take a deeper look so I've actually been back to the island and over there we've picked up basil yeah, I think it's Boris. Boris, I took over to Genesis 1, uh, that simulation, whereas Basily, uh, they've just been stuck on uh, the island pretty much since that uh, map uh, started. So the plan is I'll take advantage of him because he's got, he's got a much high, you know, he's got a really good high level and he's got a, a really good uh, saddle as well. Uh, that, well that's interesting, there's two uh, loot drops here. Was that a Parasa? Oh yeah, it's a Parasa. See what we get here. Ooh. I don't I don't need any then. That it's gonna be junk. Let's see what this one is. I'll have to be careful because there might be cap roads around here. Uh, mm. Don't like cap roads. I mean, the good thing is I can always just put this stuff into the, uh, the grinder anyway, it's not that big of a deal. As long as I can carry them, that is. <laughs> right, so I'm going to grab that one. But then, what we're going to do is, I mean, I've got uh, Basil in a, in a cryopod, so we're going to go over to the water area and then we'll pop it. That's interesting. That's kind of like similar to Scorched Earth. <laughs> not Scorched Earth, it was uh, Extinction. I just, I just caught sight of that out of the corner of my eye. That, that, that looks familiar. That must have been a fun trip going up all the way up into the sky there. Right, so I'll just park you over here, mate. You go and land yourself over there. Oh, there's mats here. I didn't notice those before. Hang on. Let me stop. When you let me get off? How this strange. Sometimes I can't actually get off the actual widen for some strange reason you press the key in it it's like it kind of like gets off we get straight back on again which is kind of weird might be because the keyboard will have problems with the keyboard where it just seems to be you, you press it and it counts as a double press for some strange reason anyway oh that that is a that is a cool looking colored rex that it's an alpha rex so i can't really do much with it to be fair i think but now where are we off? Because I've completely lost the plot. Right, we need to head back over there. It's one of the reasons I like the Wyverns, because they're... I mean, that it feels as though they're going slow, but they actually... What the heck? It feels as though they're going slow, but the I do find them to be quicker for getting around on the map. I mean, we've got this exo suit, kind of similar to, uh, like, tech armor. Good thing about that is you don't need any element to use it it's it's indestructible it doesn't have durability either but it's got limited armor but well say I, I do quite like getting around using the dinos anyway i mean technically it's not a dino but it's a mythical beast but oh it's still fun right so where's our maps around should be around here somewhere yeah there's the there's the waterfall over there so we're over here Hello. What level are you? 45. I've already got one, to be honest, anyway. It's not as if I need another one, but you never know. It's the last map. You can always have some fun, because the, the, the things have changed now that they've got um, that net that you can trap things in. It makes things so much easier to, to tame animals. You missed. You were supposed to land. Take another pass at that and see if I can get you to land again. 
I mean I can get it to stop. Stop, 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 stop. Eh. Right, so we're gonna ball up instead of flying over. Right, one thing I wanna do first though is that I wanna drop the yeah, the furry thing off here. I don't wanna I don't wanna be taking her with me. No, I don't have any element, I'm not gonna get any. Right, so I've got uh, Basil in a private pod anyway, so we're gonna head over to this water area. We'll get him out, we'll have a bit of a bit of a peek down here. So it's kind of right in the middle of the map, basically. I don't know if there's a connection between the two sides through the water. And I've, I've literally no idea what's down here, to be fair. I mean, we could have done with better weather because it's raining. Uh, let me double check. I have got any. Actually, I better... Mm, probably should have gotten rid of this junk, but... Never mind. Oh, Megalodon, Megalodon, that's not a good sign. Um, right, we'll pop you out here, mate. And then off we go. Right, so, we know there's Megalodons down here. Question is, how deep does it go? Because that looks like some sort of... I don't know. It's a wet... Uh, was there, were there ladders I saw there, or was it just part of the structural design? So I was just sort of like curious to see how deep these things go down. Ah, have we hit bottom? Because it is a ship, to be fair. It's only so far. It's only so far you can go. It's not, it's not as if you're going to like suddenly pop out into space. That would be a bit embarrassing if you did. That would be a really lousy design. Hmm, I was expecting something exciting. Whoa, not like a lot, as in a lot of megalodons. Jeez Louise. That, they've, they've been congregating down there for some strange reason. Although maybe that's like a spawn point, they've all just sort of like just been waiting for me to come, uh, come along with my uh, Basilosaurus. I mean... How do you end up with megalodons? Well, I mean, it's a ship. But all the same, it'd be like, oh no, there's a crab. Ooh. Ooh, you get crab. Ooh, this could get interesting. It's a bit dark, I must admit, but. It's around here. Actually, I just realised Basil could probably do with some to eat. I've no idea. I, I don't know if it's just... I think it's just him, but his oxygen level shows hardly any oxygen, which is weird. I might have had the same thing with Boris when I took him over. To Genesis 1. Might be something to do with the transfer or something, I don't know, but... To get him over here, I, I put him into a, a tech transmitter, then I brought the tech transmitter over here. And I use that to basically get them onto the map. Because the trouble is, if you put dinos into a cryopod, they can pop out and they're just like level one, which is completely useless. I mean, normally you put dinos into a cryopod and uh, you've still got the saddle. But I've noticed when you, you know, if you try to transfer a dino that's in a cryopod, you, lo you, don't, you don't just like end up like level one, you lose the saddle as well. And this, uh, this dude, he's got, yeah. He's got an ascendant saddle on him. So aside from those crabs and tons and tons of megalodons, I mean it's just a ship structure. What the heck is that over there? That's a lot of fish. What? They're all swimming around. Yeah, look, there's other all swimming around the sharks. Ah, it's just plain weird. 
That's one thing I like about this suit, though, is, I mean, we're not using any any element at all. It's like, it's not, not even with oxygen, you don't have to use it uh, for oxygen supply, whereas with a, if I had a tech suit, I'd be consuming element. This is quite good, I must say, for a Basilosaurus, because we're not going too deep to get it to start, you know, taking damage or anything. But it's, I must admit, it's looking a bit sparse. I was thinking, ooh, I wonder if there's like caves or something. Where are we at now? Right, we're coming up to the, the connection point. That's, that's what I say, that's what I'm curious. I don't, I don't know if there is a connection point underwater or whether the only way to get from the, the light side to the dark side is through, through that top section. Looks like it is. Well, I haven't said that. Ah. Interesting. Nope. I was being a bit optimistic there. It's just structure. I want to glitch through the, through the wall. <laughs> Go away! Stupid Megalodons. I've no interest in you. Yeah, we're just hitting structure. I mean, I'll have to explore the darker side at some point. That's where Rockwell will be with some of the, probably the, some of the more uh, interesting dinos. higher up we're just up back to the surface so hmm so we've gone right the way over there so it looks like it looks like there's two maybe these are two sort of like separate rings and they're connected and connected that way hmm. ow 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 stop it but oi well oh, that's nice colored it's nice colored megalodon but it's annoying me i was done a bit Let's head back the other way, so... Not a great deal to see. But I think there was some... I noticed when I was coming through, there was like a connection on the left-hand side. Well, it was the right-hand side at the time, it was on the left-hand side, but... Because I wouldn't, th I wouldn't think this goes all the way over to the over to the side because it's just something that runs right down the middle. The trouble is I don't want to go... Uh, I haven't really gone up against a crab with a Basilosaurus, I must admit. Because those things are, are from... A, ooh, oh, that looked bigger than I, than I thought it was. They're from aberration. And uh, this, as far as I recall, it can pull, uh, it can pull you off your mount. I mean, Basil's. I mean, he's level 267 as far as I remember, so he's. He should probably be able to pull his own. And then all I can do is just basically run away. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello. careful in case because I mean like with Genesis 1 they had so like force fields the last thing I want to do is so I end up with Basil here ending up in a in an oxygen environment this is this is just weird 
It's like a cave because it's changed color and everything. It's a lot clearer as well. Wow. That's like hey, this is a this is very much it's very much different than what I was expecting. It's like an underwater completely under um different underwater area. I was beginning to think that you go up, maybe it's just structure, you know, like a structured environment, that's it. You just, just go up and down because it's just for water storage or something, but... Ooh! This is looking interesting. Go away. You're just being annoying. You always make good underwater areas, I must admit. A wild card. Yeah, that's a thought. I mean, if this is if this is some sort of cave, you've got to expect higher level creatures. So that means you've had kind of like you've got like a surface area, and then you've got maybe some com completely new underground water area. Right. You could spend forever probably wandering around here. It's a bit like um, Valgero. That was kind of similar where you had a completely different environment. It ran from one end of the, the map to the other practically. So it's not like your typical cave. I mean, this is <laughs> this is huge. Jeez Louise, this I wonder how deep well again it can only go I mean it can only go so deep because you're dealing Oh, is that an alpha? Oh it is. Yeah. I mean you can only go so deep because it's a, a space station. Well, a spaceship really. You're gonna be running out huff and puff in a minute, aren't you, mate? Oh it's a mosa. And if it's a, if this is a cave environment, then there might be actually seriously high level monsters. Ah, uh, okay. So it's just an underwater. So it's it seems to be like similar to what they did with Valgar or the Because that was a fun thing about the island that you had uh you had the land area and you had the water area, but this is like land on the top and the big water cave under underneath. Jeez Louise, they've, they've, they've put a lot of time and thought into this place. I mean, I've, I'm going to have to keep going back to the map because I'm, I've got no idea where I am. <laughs> I've completely lost the plot already. I mean, it, it's just so, it just seems so big. I wonder if I head in a sort of like a... What direction are we heading in at the moment? Oh, look at that. Cooling down. Oh, that's why, because I'm using the, um, what was the GPS I meant to get out. That's kind of like north in that direction then. Probably spent ages looking around here. It's kind of odd for a space station. I must uh, for a spaceship. I must admit, it's not something I would expect. I mean, I know though. Maybe it's like a, the idea was that this this is supposed to be some sort of like, uh, spaceship that's used to seed a planet. You go go to a planet and you want to bring, you know, water. Uh, dinos as well as the, the land ones and the air ones, but why not just leave them in cryo or just all, I mean it's all cryo stuff, they all just create them out of uh, clones. I 
Ah, no, he's taking damage, so we are pretty deep. Doesn't tell you, meaning. So we're in the sump. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't tell you how deep you are. I can only tell by him when he starts taking damage. That's weird, that, because it's got... You've got these rocks, which is kind of unusual for a... for a spaceship design. I mean, why... Why put rocks in? That's just plain weird. Of course, the interesting thing now is how the heck am I going to get back out again? <laughs> I'm just thinking, I've, I'm like, I've, I've come in here and it's like, now how the heck am I supposed to get back out again? At least we've hit a limit. So it doesn't like, doesn't seem to stretch all the way along the map. It only goes so far. It's not a great deal of things. Oh, well, I suppose it's such a big area. There's only going to be so many things to put in here anyway. So the donkeys. Oh, there's a Basilosaurus. And there's another one. As far as I remember, with this map, you can get dinos on this map. It's kind of similar. The other ones that did where they started introducing higher, higher melee, but at the expense of health. So the dinos can do more damage, but the not really. I don't think that's really much use to the boss. Well. I suppose with some boss fights, it's, it's a, like how quickly can you take the boss down? So, what are we hitting now then? So, we're hitting an edge. Hmm, okay, so it doesn't. So, they've definitely only carved out a certain, certain part. I'm still puzzled as to why you've got rocks and all things. It just seems kind of strange. I'm not seeing any sort of like loot drops or anything. So you've just got like the orbital supply drops. Makes me wonder why you'd want to come in here. Except for the underwater stuff. I mean, you could probably build a really cool base down here. So it's not it's like typical cave where you end up with dinos with higher levels. It's just a completely different underwater environment to play in. Head along in that direction then and see where that takes us to because I'm pretty sure we came in from a side. In which case I'm curious to see how far like in this direction it stretches. Right, what was this then? Because that's that's a side entrance. Or is it? I haven't really been over to the dark side yet, as they say. Hello? Hello? What's here? Except an electric forest. Oh, oh, 
Seriously? <laughs> Stop it! You pesky fish. Oh, everybody's followed me back up here. So that's an interesting, so that's, an, that's an alternate way to get in there. That, so you can get in from the main waterways, because we are at... Let's see, where are we at? Where's the map gone? So we're, so we're in the main waterways now. So we've... It's that tank there. That's what that is. There's a way to get in there. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I think I've officially lost the plot. I've, I have no idea where I am now. I'm just somewhere, as far as I'm aware, it's like, I think I need to be heading in something like that direction. I think, get back to where we, you know, came in from. I think. Because it's some kind of tunnel. I'm pretty sure we came in at a, at a height. And I'll have to, I had to come down a level there find all this place, but this place is really big. Is that where I need to be? Just get rid of these electric forests. Oh, and a please, you've got two pleases on that tail as well. Right, that looks that looks like it's gonna lead to somewhere. So we're at Actually we're pretty much underneath our old base. Hmm. So we head along here. takes us back into the river system then again. Ah, there we are. Ow! What are you piranhas? So where we come out at? We're coming up close to where our base is actually.
Here's our beers there. Ah, that's interesting. Ooh. Piranhas. Just what I don't need. <laughs> Tell you what, I want to grab some of these bits and pieces off you. And I'll grab the fish off you as well. You never have too much hide. Oh, I'm moving. Can I? Oh, yeah, I can. I can still move around. Right. I'll pop you into a cryopod. Because we're right next to the base anyway. So the inventory is too heavy to jump, but we can still move around because of this exosuit. Yeah, we can do. <laughs> this is this is just bizarre. This so kind of top heavy, but we can still move because we've got the exosuit on. So I can get back up there. And drop these bits and pieces off. So it's definitely an interesting area, I must admit. It, it stretches much deeper than I thought. I thought that might just be a... You know, kind of like a canal sort of thing. Oh, we're waddling along like a duck. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a heck of a lot deeper than I thought. I mean, I don't know if there's anything else down there. But there's, uh, there's some oil there which would be useful. Well, as I say, I mean, if I put Boris into that lagoon behind me, he's going to start generating oil for us anyway, to be fair. I just want to dump this stuff. It's biotoxin. Uh, I may as well keep... Where, which one's which? That's the berries. That's the meat. I'll dump all the rest of this stuff. I'm going to pop Basil out over there. Um, we have fairy thing. It's not any matter where I put this stuff. Um, salt. Touch hide. Now I could have done without earlier. <laughs> that would have been extremely useful having that, I must admit. I'm just going to head back here. I should have dumped some of this stuff into the grinder anyway. Don't need that, or that, or that, or that, or that. Don't need that. Mm, nope, don't need that, or that. Uh, don't need that. I definitely don't need that. Can I grind that? Curiosity, we've got tons of stuff coming from here. Right, let's go and put Basil back in the lagoon then. Because he was, when I first brought him across, he was having some fun with these May wings, I must admit. Right, pop him out here then. Rather than keep them in cry all the time. Right, there you go, mate. You can have some fish. I'll keep you occupied for a while. So yeah, that's definitely an interesting area, I must admit, that underwater system that they've got on here. But I think I'll have a bit of a dig around to find out if there's anything you know more to it than just oh yeah, there's a lot of dinos and everything down there. Maybe I missed something. But I think the next thing, I mean, we've got the hang of a base going on, but I'm still quite tempted to get over now to that darker side where Rockwell is. Just out of curiosity to see what's over there. Because there's some, in I, know, I know there's at least one interesting dino over there. Definitely. That's all for another episode.